Hi everyone, and welcome to another video of the Safi webinar series. In this video, we're going to learn about some operations that we can do on members. After adding members to the model, the user can do many operations, including subdividing members, assembling members, and attach crossing members. Without further ado, let's start our demo. First, let's start by creating a few members. To create a member, we use the command add member. Since we already have a grid, we can use the intersections of the grid lines to create members. So I'm going to create a member here. Now let's say we want to subdivide this member. To do that, we use the command subdivide members and plates. First, we select the member, then we click on this button, subdivide members and plate. Then we specify the number of divisions per member. In this case, it is set to two. If we click OK, we can see that we subdivided this member to two members. Now let's try this operation again. So I'm going to create a new member here and I'm going to select it and execute subdivide. In this case, let's take a look into the options available in this dialog box. First, here we see operation. So we have two options that are available. The first one, which is keep physical members. So in this case, after subdividing the members, these members will still be part of one physical member. And that's what we did in the first example. Here we see the color of this member in green and the end of the members are in blue. Usually we see that for each physical member. The other option that is available is to cut independent members. So if I select this option, in this case, we are going to see we will have two members as a result, but these two members are independent. They don't form a physical member. However, in the first case, those two members were part of one physical member. Now let's do the same operation again, and I will select the member then I click on subdivide members and plates. In this dialog box, we have a parameter here, method. So by default, the subdivision method is based on equal length division. So we specify a number of divisions, then we subdivide the member. However, the software provides other methods to subdivide the members, including absolute position, relative position, and global position. So for example, if we select the relative position, we can specify, for example, if you want to subdivide this member to 20% of the length, we can specify here 0.2. And if we click OK, we'll see a joint that is created at 20% distance from the first joint, which is joint I. We can use this command on the selection as well. So I can select all these members and click on the comment subdivide members. In this case, we can also use another method, which is global coordinates. If you know the global coordinates where you want to subdivide the members, you can use that as well. For example, if I want to subdivide them at a position of nine meters in the X direction, I can simply specify here nine meters. I then click OK. So now, we see all members are subdivided at that specific position. Another operation that is available to the user is to assemble members. To assemble members, we need to select the members that we need to assemble, then we click on the command assemble members. So for the members to be assembled, several conditions need to be satisfied. The members need to share the same section and also they need to share a connectivity joint. So for example, if I create two members here, I can't assemble them using this command because they're not connected. So they need to be connected at one joint and also share the same section properties and material. Another operation that we can do with members is to attach crossing members. So this can apply to members and also members and joints. For example, here if I create two crossing members, Visually, this member seems to be intersected. However, analytically, when we are under analysis, 
the force will not be transferred from one member to another. If we want to transfer forces at the intersection point, we need to create a joint. To do that, we need to select the members and then we use the command attach crossing members. In this dialog box, we have the option to keep physical members. So, the resultant members will form physical member or cut in independent members. In this case, we have four independent members. Click OK. Now we can see the joints have been created and now these members are attached. This command can be used to attach joints to members as well. For example, if I add a joint here, this joint is not attached to this member. If I want to do that, I can select the member and the joint, then use the command again. And that's why this joint is now attached to this member. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and catch you in another one of our webinar series videos.